Hello, and welcome to this Innovation Fireside Chat, part of ULI's virtual fall meeting. My name is Emily McLaughlin. I'm director on ULI's Greenprint Center for Building Performance, and I will be your moderator for today's session. For some background, the Greenprint Center is part of ULI's Center for Sustainability and Economic Performance, a global community of real estate owners, investors, developers who are committed to leading the market and advancing sustainability across their portfolios. Through measurement, benchmarking, knowledge sharing, and implementation of best practices, Greenprint and its real estate members strive to reduce greenhouse gas emissions 50% by 2030 and to achieve net zero carbon operations by 2050. Greenprint's innovation partners are technology and service providers who contribute innovative best practices that advance sustainability with Greenprint real estate members and throughout the built environment broadly. This session is part of a four-part series in which Greenprint's innovation partners are joined by Greenprint members who have benefited from their services for a fireside chat of sorts. So today I am joined by Lou Riola from Nova Group and Elena Daniel from Centerpoint who in just a moment will walk through how their firms have worked together to help promote and innovate on sustainability within real estate portfolios. Lou, Elena, take it away. Uh, thanks, Emily. It's great to be with you. And of course, the dynamic Elena Daniel. Um, on behalf of the entire Nova Group team, I just want to express our gratitude to you and the ULI team. We're honored to be a, a new uh, innovation partner. And I'm actually really glad that you, you started today's session uh, with a uh, introduction to, to Greenprint. Um, so just allow me just a moment maybe to provide some context and, uh, and the framework uh, of, of, of why this innovation partnership is, is so important to know, but it really dovetails into what you just shared uh, about the 50% uh, reduction by the year 2030. Because actually, it's a, it's a it's a broader topic in the in the entire real estate industry. Um, I was shocked to to learn that nearly forty percent of carbon emissions emitted globally uh, come from the uh, commercial real estate industry. And what a massive massive challenge that that we all face. Uh, so I applaud the the alliance and the work that they're doing, and of course the the broader community of uh, commercial real estate. And when you think about it, it's just not real estate. Um, it seems like today I can't pick up a, a newspaper or, or look at a television commercial without seeing a, another company talking about their net zero goals. Uh, a couple that just come to mind would be Walmart just recently, uh, net zero by 2040. And of course, the great uh, spots we see from Amazon and their commitment to uh, net zero by, by 2040. So it, it, it brings together uh, the thought process of, you know, what's driving these forces? And, uh, and bear with me a moment, because this leads to a, a proper introduction to NOVA. As we think about uh, some of these forces and, and megatrends, um, we really look at the rise of citizenship is, is driving some of this. Uh, can't, can't look at a millennial uh, set of data points without uh, seeing that they care very much about what companies care about the lack of confidence in our citizenship uh, to, to, to in, in government and in politics to solve social issues. And then of course, the mega trends of climate change, population growth, uh, and for sure, ur urbanization. So all this leads into the ESG movement and, um, and these factors around the ESG movement. For those of our, our guests in the audience that aren't familiar with ESG, the term stands for environmental social governance. And think of these as the non-financial factors that companies share with their investors and with society so that the company can be property, properly evaluated, not just for profits, but look at the non-financial elements as well of what a company is doing. So ESG actually becomes some pressure. It's pressure from citizens, it's pressure from investors, and it's pressure from communities to, to pursue and pressure change. Um, so if there's one thing I would ask that you take away from today's discussion, it is this. For Greenprint to meet its you know, ambitious goal of 50% reduction um, and the incredible work that all the companies are doing, um, they cannot do it alone. Just like Walmart and Amazon, this alliance needs to look at their supply chain, their downline suppliers to, to uh, find alignment and support to meet those goals. And that is where Nova Group comes in. We believe that we're uniquely positioned as what we call a shared value su supply chain partner 
that empowers our customers such as CenterPoint. So um, allow me to just share a little bit about uh, Nova. So there's three things I think I'd like to have you take away from today. One would be just a quick recap of our services that you see on the screen here. The second that we'll share momentarily is a bit about our organizational structure and what we have done to, to modify or evolve, I guess is a better term, evolve the company uh, to really be that strong a supply chain partner. And then third, I'm really excited about the partnership with CenterPoint and, and we'll be sharing with you uh, some of our collaboration and how we're supporting CenterPoint properties and their goal to reduce their uh, overall uh, emissions reduction. So real quickly, Nova Group is a 33-year-old uh, international engineering and environmental service firm. Uh, as you can see on the screen, we, we have a number of services, and actually there's dozens and dozens more. Um, but our, our legacy is definitely in a commercial do, a real estate due diligence, uh, property condition assessments, you know, ESAs, P green PCAs and such. Uh, also a very strong energy uh, group. Uh, doing energy audits and more. So I won't go through each of these that are on the screen. It gives you a chance to really see just some of the snapshot. Um, and finally, two points uh, as we introduce Nova. One is that uh, we provide over 600 uh, uh, reports on properties on a monthly basis. And I would say probably, uh, I'll call it our secret sauce, our, our value added uh, proposition is the 800 plus scientists, engineers, and architects that we have out in the field at the site level making observations and assessments and also recommendations. We call, we call this group our eyes on the asset and they're very much a, a very strong force for us as we provide uh, uh, reports, mitigation and, uh, and much more. So with that, I'll pause here and um, ask Alina to uh, share with us a little bit more about CenterPoint Properties. Thanks, Lou. I'm excited to be here today with uh, Nova Group uh, and discussing uh, sustainability and ESG uh, movements. Um, I'm the vice president of CenterPoint Properties. Um, I've been now in position for two and a half years um, working for this great company. Um, my role truly with ESG touches every part of the business. Um, CenterPoint Properties acquires, develops, manages, and leases uh, state-of-the-art warehouse facilities across the United States in major transportation hubs. CenterPoint and Nova have had a great partnership, um, which we're excited about. We've worked for with Nova Group now for four years on over 35 projects and um, primarily through our acquisition and due diligence process. Um, so we're excited now to see where uh, we're, we are today and, um, and we um, will continue the work together. Um, but in order to do so, one of the most important things behind us is our properties and our assets and our, as well as our customers. So we're continuously looking at reimagining what's possible at CenterPoint. And I'm excited to show you more on what, what is occurring on our industrial portfolio. Somebody asked me, what's it like to be the best looking guy at the dance? And the reference was, this is a great time to be in industrial real estate. CenterPoint as a company is very clear about what its mission statement is. And that is solving for user demand in each one of our respective markets. CenterPoint invests across all asset types within the industrial sector. And we're willing to, to build it, we're willing to buy it willing to acquire it. We're here at CenterPoint on the front lines of not only creating value, shareholder value, but investing, creating jobs. This is U.S. Economy 101. Thanks, Elena. So Lou, passing it over to you, um, I know Nova Group has had a really exciting year and is rapidly expanding beyond ESG due diligence. Um, what sorts of initiatives do you guys have planned in the coming months? Well, it, it has been a robust, uh, a fast-paced 18 months, that's for sure. Um, it's, it's really been exciting. So I shared with you in the opening a bit about our services, but as hard as, hard as we've been working on our, our deliverables, our, our products and services, we've also been working organizationally. Um, so a few things that I, I guess I'd like to highlight in, in our next slide would be that um, we, uh, although we're a 33 year old company, we made a decision back in 2019 to reincorporate, reissue the, our articles of incorporation 
to become what is called a general benefit corporation. And to those of you not familiar with what a general benefit corporation is, think of it as a B Corp. And, uh, and maybe by way of example, uh, Patagonia and uh, Ben and & Jerry's would be two examples of that. And what that really means is uh, we've made a, a legal commitment. Uh, we look at this as kind of a triple bottom line. We think about our people, the planet, and our profits. Uh, go into the into the decision uh, and operations of the organization, and with that also comes a commitment that, um, similar to how uh, those of you in the real estate market do your annual reporting to to the likes of Grasp and others, we have an annual uh, assessment that we follow, which is called the B Impact Assessment from the B B, uh, B Corp community. Um, it's a standard. It has a scorecard, uh, very similar to uh, uh, ESG reporting. And so it allows us as a privately held B2B organization to, to really do similar and complementary promotional work uh, of our uh, disclosures. Um, we're also really excited. Uh, we're aligning uh, with our, our corporate partners that are committed to the United Nation uh, Sustainable Development Goals. So we as a, as a, a supplier are definitely in alignment uh, uh, with that as well. And uh, two other key things I'd mention organizationally uh, one would be that as part of our UN work, uh, they are in collaboration with the B Corp community and formed a similar kind of alliance that Greenprint has of bringing stakeholders together on a mission of net zero by 2030. And I'm really proud of our team uh, that Nova Group is committed to be a net zero organization by the year 2030 as well. Um, and as part of our, our, our journey uh, towards that, we have made a decision and we launched in April of this past year that all of our due diligence work, all, the, all those people in the field that are out performing those services, assessing buildings and uh, coming up with recommendations, we do that on a carbon neutral basis. We've evaluated our scope one, and two, one, two and threes and uh, we have some carbon offsets against specific projects and so we're really proud that we can offer to our customers that we provide our services on a carbon neutral basis. And then we have two uh, strategic partnerships that I wanna highlight before we transition into talking about our, our partnership with CenterPoint. The first one very briefly is with a group called 427. We're really, really thrilled to work with 427 and their leadership on, uh, on climate science and forecasting. And what this allows us to do is uh, physical uh, climate risk screening reports that is powered by the data provided by 427. We offer an opinion and a, and a cover letter of, of some of our thoughts regarding the property and uh, addresses such things as heat stress, floods, sea level rise, water stress, et cetera. Um, but beyond that, uh, often once a, 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 a customer has that report, there's identified you know, uh, zones that are, are of urgent need to address. And that question typically is, what do I do now? Well, we're, where Nova Group comes in is this is an opportunity for us to leverage that 800 plus that I mentioned of scientists, architects, and engineers in the field to actually go out to the site level and perform a resiliency assessment, providing recommendations and mitigation uh, 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 actions uh, to our, our corporate partners and so much more. I won't go into it now, but we're really excited to be able to answer that call of what do I do now? The second partnership was with an organization many of you might be familiar with called Measurable. Um, we are uh, in, a, in a deep relationship with, with them as a managed service provider, collecting, managing, disclosing, and acting upon ESG and sustainability data. And what that does for Nova Group, it allows us to kind of have an end-to-end -end, uh, offering. Um, on one end, we deal with data, both in terms of discovery, um, evaluation, assessment, and recommendations all the way through mitigation and the work that's done on projects to now be able to disclose and report. Uh, so it's a very important uh, partnership for us and you'll hear more about our partnership with Measurable in the coming weeks and months. Now specific to CenterPoint, uh, I'm really, really energized uh, by our partnership. We have worked together for years and um, we, we are really focused uh, in supporting uh, Elena uh, th through her thought leadership in designing uh, a CenterPoint's ESG uh, framework. And, and, and in two short years, she's really shaped uh, best practices and defined what is um, materially uh, important to CenterPoint. Um, we came together, we had a strategic roundtable 
uh, with CenterPoint. And uh, I wanna share with you a couple of takeaways uh, before I turn it over. Uh, one, we looked at long-term initiatives um, that we could share and, and, and focus on together. The second would be that we identified ESG scenarios that we as NOVA um, could, could find ways to add value and expertise to help uh, a CenterPoint team uh, reach their goals. And then third, uh, we identified that there was a need for energy optimization and we'll be working together on an ener energy optimiz optimization policy here in the coming months. Um, so really excited about this partnership and uh, love to turn it over to Elena to uh, share with you uh, and, the, and the audience the, the further insights into the ES journey, ESG journey uh, that CenterPoint Properties is on and the great work that you're all doing. Thank you, Lou. Um, it's always great to hear about your extensive services and all your exciting partnerships that you have going on at Nova Group. Um, always, it's a, it's a very exciting time right now to be in ESG. Um, as you mentioned, uh, we truly do depend on our supply chain partners. Um, we work really closely with all of our consultants and ensure that they understand where our current uh, strategies are, where our long-term strategies are, and then potentially looking into the future as well as into current themes and what we can um, continue to work on together. Um, one of the great things that um, that Nova Group has been able to provide to us um, in our due diligence process is um, when I came on, we embedded a new policy, which is our sustainable investment ESG matrix. It touches on sustainable attributes of um, all of our acquisition properties um, in terms of reviewing um, climate related risks, um, as well as looking at each component of the facility prior to purchasing, um, where we're looking really closely at the sustainable attributes that may be in the building, but then also potentially looking at what we could um, uh, include in the building as we look to modernize it after purchase. So Nova's been gr great at making sure that we're partnering on that and looking at all the aspects of the building prior to um, prior to our formal acquisition of, the, of any facility. So that's been extremely instrumental in our process. Um, the other thing I'm really excited about is we have incorporated now an energy optimization policy. Uh, this policy is an umbrella for us um, in many aspects. Um, and one of the main ones that we're taking a look at, at with Nova Group is looking at energy audits. So energy audits, really what um, it's really going to assist us with is it really kind of gives us um, in terms of, you know, looks at all the operational um, processes of a facility as well as the building envelope itself. Um, you provide us with suggestions in terms of um, ways that we can um, invest in the facility, um, any payback periods that we may be looking at through the investment, and then most importantly, the type of savings that we can incur as the owners of the facility, but then also how we can share those savings with our tenants. Um, for the long term. So that's been extremely instrumental to be able to include that in our process. Um, and we're excited to continue to work with you on that. Um, we actually recently did a really exciting um, modernization project in um, at 6800 Valley View in Buena Park, California. Uh, this facility is a 1.2 million square foot building. Um, honestly, just looking at the before and after pictures that are featured here does not do it any justice. Uh, I actually went to the facility myself and I just was just uh, enamored with uh, the new facility and its technology that we incorporated as a company. Um, we did invest approximately $20 million in the modernization of this facility specifically. And um, one of the key things is looking at really how we can continue to optimize the facility overall. So we looked at every area of the facility itself and we incorporated aspects um, related to sustainability in general, looking at the drought landscaping, um, as well as looking at the indoor environmental quality um, was a key um, upgrade as well, uh, where we can really improve um, the indoor productivity of the, of the um, employees in that facility. So that's very important to us, as well as looking at water efficiency. Um, as you can see, we're able to reduce water 
um, over 40%, um, which is fantastic in a facility of this size. And then also just increasing the optimization in energy and atmosphere. Um, this is how we're gonna continue to modernize our assets um, moving forward. Um, we're continuously looking for those targeted properties and looking for ways that we can improve um, our portfolio over time and looking really to improve these um, for our tenants, but then also for the communities um, where we are located. And I'm just gonna pass it on to you, Lou. Well, I, I, my, I just have a brief comment. I mean, yeah. applaud, applaud the work. It's, it's outstanding. You know, great example uh, that you shared there. And I think, you know, as I, as I stated in my opening, there were three areas we were going to cover. And one was introducing to our services. Second was our organizational structure. And, and third, and most importantly, is this collaboration with CenterPoint. So, you know, I think my next slide basically brings together uh, kind of a, a, a snapshot of uh, the various different services uh, that came, that are in play uh, in our discussions with the CenterPoint team. Um, and as you can see here, it, 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 uh, it considers the ESG components, our new ESG services, um, ranging from, you know, of course, our green PCAs, our, our, our carbon neutrality, our ESG services. So I won't go through each, but this just thought this was a, a really good snapshot. And before uh, transferring back to learn more about what CenterPoint's journey uh, entails, um, you know, I just want to share with the audience that what, what, what I hope you're hearing here is the ability to strategically come together and customize um, an approach of what services are needed to meet the goals uh, that you have. And so there's no one size fits all uh, when you're considering ESG. And so um, think of Nova as your team that is very flexible in how we work with you to solve and uh, continue to evolve around your, your needs. So with that, um, Elena, why don't, um, if you don't mind, share with us, you know, what's next? Uh, what, what's, what's ahead for CenterPoint Properties? Yes, lots of exciting stuff growing over here at CenterPoint Properties. Um, so as you mentioned, one size does not fit all. So um, the fact that Nova is willing to kind of work with your customers and you're looking at kind of their individual portfolios adds a huge benefit um, to us at CenterPoint. Um, but really our focus, um, we have a variety of items that we're focusing across the, um, the ESG uh, framework that we have. And our journey has been um, very exciting uh, for us and our company, as well as our customers. Um, really, we look at um, obviously um, a whole approach to ESG, and we're really looking forward to obviously incorporating many new initiatives across the company. But one of the main things is that, um, you know, with us, we're continuously looking into the future. Um, we're consistently reimagining um, what we can do with ESG. And there are some things that have come out from that. So I just want to cover that. Um, I really want to look at what we're looking at in terms of investing in future solutions. Um, one of the main things for us is really looking at our footprint overall. Our uh, greenhouse, greenhouse gas emissions and are annually reported um, on a consistent basis within our portfolio. So we're continuing to look to see how our consumption reporting is doing. Um, we have very high consumption reporting on energy, water, and waste, which has been extremely beneficial for us. And um, we continue to embed uh, that process into our um, into all of our process to ensure that we have that data analytics, which is so important when you're looking at your footprint. Uh, in addition to that, we're continuously looking, especially right now, climate risk strategies is top of mind for many of us real estate owners today. Um, we're looking at embedding process, and that's where that value with the sustainable investment ESG matrix has really made a tremendous value for us in our due diligence um, as we look to purchasing um, future um, properties across the U.S. In addition to that, we're really taking a closer look and making further investments uh, in our people as well as our culture here at CenterPoint Properties. Um, right now, uh, we actually recently launched, actually this week, a new program. Uh, ESG aligns very closely with uh, human resources initiatives. And this week we launched a new program called Be Well and Thrive. Uh, this program is an emotional support 
um, an employee support series and it touches on the physical, social, and financial health of our employees. So we're really excited for that um, in the next few months as well as we continue to launch uh, that program. Uh, in addition, we're constantly looking at our customers. What do our customers need from us? Are we delivering on our Are we delivering on our promise? Are we delivering on our commitment to our customers? And so we're constantly looking at um, uh, looking at our uh, customer engagement surveys and looking at ensuring that we're meeting their expectations. So we have a lot of exciting things coming up, but most importantly, we're constantly looking at our purpose-driven work that we're doing in the communities in which we work. And we're really excited about what's to come. Awesome, thank you guys. Thank you both so much. That was really, um really interesting and really awesome to hear how you guys are working together. Um, and Elena, that's awesome for, for you guys highlighting the Buena Park um, example. Not only is it, as you guys can see, a pretty cool example um, of sustainability in the, in the industrial space, um, but more excitingly for me, we actually have that featured in our annual report, our annual green print performance report um, that, was, that was just published this year. So if you wanna read more about that building, uh, it is featured there as well. Um, so just transitioning us here, I know we're coming up to the uh, to the end of our time here, but um, resilience and sustainability and health and wellness and, and all those themes um, obviously need to be a continued focus uh, for real estate firms going forward. So as we look at all of the events of 2020, from the global pandemic to the wildfires on the West Coast of the United States, um, we know that there are ways that real estate can be part of the solution and not part of the problem. Um, and it's really exciting to see that, that your companies are doing so much on, on that front. Um, but before we close out, I wanna give you guys a chance if you guys have any, any closing words, anything else you wanna, you wanna leave our viewers with. Well, Emily, thanks again for having us. Uh, it, it's really been a, uh, um, energizing to be together um, and we're fortunate to, to work with uh, two great organizations. So um, I think the, the one thing we'd like to do today is um, living core to our values. Um, our NOVA team would like to announce uh, that we, we are uh, understanding of the, the great wildfires and the, the damage caused out in California. So we're going to pledge today uh, and make a call out to the industry, but we're gonna pledge uh, to plant 1000 trees through a nonprofit partner of ours called One Tree Planted. And these trees uh, will be specifically part of a program called Trees for California. So um, we're, we're thrilled to make that commitment. We, we wanna send this out as kind of a call to action to the industry for others to join us uh, in this mission. And um, we're thrilled to be able to do it. So thanks again for having us. Uh, uh, Elena, any final thoughts you have? This is a fantastic program, Lou, and you're right. Uh, we do want to continue to give back into the communities in which we work. So we're really excited today as well to announce that we meet your uh, challenge and uh, Centerpoint would also like to pledge another thousand trees as well for uh, the state of California. Awesome, awesome. Thanks, thanks so much. And uh, for those of you out there in the audience, there's some information here on this slide. Uh, please join us at OneTreePlanted.com. So, Thanks again, Emily. Awesome. Well, thank you guys. And I'm sure, uh, I'm, I'm sure that will make a huge difference. And we really appreciate your generosity. Um, we really appreciate your conversation today um, and sharing this time with us. And hopefully all of our viewers were able to, to pull something away. And hopefully you're coming away with some new strategies and hopefully on ways to embed uh, these innovative technologies long-term and, and help those implement ESG strategies. So thank you both. Thank you, Lou. Thank you, Elena. Thank you.